CS, I'm Julia. And I'm Ben, and welcome back to Updates. We hope that all the 10th graders that went to Belgium on Friday had a great trip. Well done to all the basketball and swim teams that traveled to Brussels to compete over the weekend. Welcome back to the MUN team who had a fantastic trip to The Hague last week. Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. there will be a high school choral concert in the theater. Come along and support your friends. On Wednesday, we will be taking a short, anonymous well-being survey and advisory to help the school get a better idea of how they can help improve ACS. At 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday in the ILC, there is a meeting for 9th grade parents to discuss upcoming course selection, so make sure you check that out. If you've all been anxious to know your grades and GPAs, Power School will be reopened on Wednesday in preparation for parent-teacher conferences. We have Thursday and Friday off so that conferences can occur. Take these two days to relax and sleep in. Most teachers, however, recommend you go with your parents as it may be useful to talk with your teachers about your progress. There is an open day on Saturday and the school is always looking for people to help out and give campus tours from 9 a.m. until 12.30. If you are interested in helping out, please email Ms. Coleman with your name and grade. AP exams are being ordered in the next few weeks. If you are taking an AP course, you should have been sent an email including how much you owe. These fees can be paid through parent pay. If you are self-studying an AP course, it is important that you see Mrs. Fitzpatrick in the Dean's office so she can make sure that your exam is ordered. The deadline for senior yearbook messages is the 16th, so make sure you get them in. Please see Mr. Roberts in the Media Lab if you have any questions or concerns. The IT department have asked us to inform you students about Internet Safety. This Tuesday is Internet Safety Day. Here's top five tips to stay safe online. Never give out your personal details. Don't give out personal information. Think before you post. Think carefully before posting pictures or videos of yourself. Once you've put a picture of yourself online, most people can see it and may be able to download it. It's just not yours anymore. Never meet anyone you meet online. Never agree to meet up with someone off offline when you only know them online. No matter how friendly they might seem or how well you think you know them, they are still a stranger. Be a digital citizen. Be a good digital citizen. Use text, images, and videos to make a positive impact. And think carefully about the impact on others before you share something online. Report anything you see online, including images and videos which are offensive, upsetting, or inappropriate. Be a critical thinker. Seeing is not believing. When you see something online, take a moment to see the full picture. Not everything or everyone online can be trusted. We are now sponsoring the 2018 Namibia team. Each week we'll provide a fact for you from the team itself. This week's fact? Namibia is the second least densely populated country in the world with only 2.6 people per square kilometer. ACS, welcome to our new movie segment. Each week we'll be discussing a different movie along with some fun facts about the production. This week's movie is The Greatest Showman. I'm sure you've all heard about it by now. Directed by Michael Gracie, this movie is inspired by an original musical that narrates the birth of a show business through someone who rose from nothing to become a worldwide sensation. This movie was first thought of when Hugh Jackman, the main protagonist, desired to do a big cinematic musical, and not just an adaptation of an existing Broadway or West End show. An idea for a similar movie has been in his head since 2009 and is now available worldwide for all audiences. Not only that, but the production has been nominated for quite some awards. A Golden Globe for Best Actor to Jackman, a Golden Globe Award for Best Motion Picture. Costume Designers Guild Award for Best Costume Design, an Empire Award for Best Costume Design, and an Empire Award for Best Makeup and Hairstyling. That's really impressive. Weirdly enough, there are no nominations for the amazing soundtrack, which I believe is fantastic. Plus, the music features Academy Award winning lyricist in last year's La La Land. Perhaps the soundtrack will make it to the Oscars. What do you think of The Greatest Showman? Is it really that amazing, as they say? Or would you rather think it should be performed as a live theater? You can find the movie screening at Everyman and Odeon. Thank you for watching, ACS. See you next week.